Hello friends, uh, welcome to Databricks and PySpark video tutorials. Uh, in this ongoing continuous real-time scenario sessions. So today uh, we are going to uh, discuss about one of the real-time scenario. Like when you are working primarily with the source file systems, because sometimes when end users, they will send uh, data uh, with the uh, missing headers. Missing headers are, you can say, additional headers. So consider normal CSV files you will be having like this uh, header. Uh, like consider I'm having a file name uh, with uh, three columns and uh, data will be like this, like uh, three columns that is headers and data. Okay, data will be like this. So, but some scenarios, what will happen? You will get a data with uh, some additional more headers or you can say more empty header lines, empty header lines. Consider just I will prepare some sample data. Consider this is a normal CSV file data looks like this. But some scenarios when end users sharing the files, what will happen when they will save the data with some uh, empty lines or you can see empty headers like uh, line one, line two, line three. Okay. And they will send like this with the empty lines or you can say some sample data. But actually your data starts from here. Your data starts from here. Data means your metadata, which is header, then data starts from here. So you cannot avoid these kind of uh, data files from source. Even they will tell that we cannot remove. So you can skip those first three lines, then proceed for data processing. So how to skip first three lines or maybe first four lines, then start from header. Consider you have a first four lines, line four also some data, but you need to skip this data. So how to skip this data when you are using a PySpark? So so today's scenario is how to how to skip first a few lines few lines while reading CSV file. So how to achieve this in PySpark? Let's create a, a notebook and create this data file as well. Then we'll see that. So I'll, I'll go to I'll create a new notebook in my net Databricks account. How to skip? First few lines in PySpark data frame. So what I'll do, I'll create a new data file. So db2s.fs.put, which I'll create a scenario and uh, skip lines.csv. which I'll create this data file. If data file already is available, I will overwrite. This is the third option is true. Now it will create a data file. Now let's take this data file. This data file I written in this location. Then how to read and create a data frame in PySpark. We'll create a data frame using spark.read.csv is one of the API. Then you can specify header, header equal to true. But when you look at this data file is having a first three rows are first three rows are empty rows. What will happen whenever you read directly? Whenever you read directly, what will happen? It will treat as a single line. You see this first row it is treating and it is ignoring other other data. So so directly we cannot use and we cannot read that. So we need to skip those lines. We need to skip these first lines then treat this as a header then create this then how to achieve using PySpark so we need to skip first three lines or maybe four lines then how to achieve that so what we can do we can create rdd first we can create rdd using spark context.txt file so once rdd is available so this rdd will be having all data but we need to skip based on line number. So how to assign a line number? So RDD is having one option called RDD is having GIF with the index. So which we can use that transformation GIF with 
index. It will create a sequence ID. It will create sequence ID for every item. So this item, it will create a zero, then one. So sequence item, it will create. Now sequence item, it is created. So we can use the filter condition to skip that lines. So how to use filter condition? On top of that, which you can use a filter. I can use a lambda function. I can read each value and second index. The second index is one where greater than four or greater than three. So index is started from here, zero, one, two, three. I want to skip this three, zero to three indexes. So means greater than three, then we should get all the data, which is from here. And even we can ignore this and we can split this data. Consider if I want only this data, which I can take index zero, then I need to split because this is in a string format. You see this, even it is having a comma separated, but that is in a string. So what we can do, we can split this data using map transformation. So we can read using a Lambda function, we can read index zero. Then after reading that, you see this is index zero, but it's in a string format. Even if you convert it to 2DF, it will create a single column only. Even if you use 2DF, then show, it will create a single column. So that's, that's why it is failing now, the schema is failing. So for that, what we can do, first we can take this, then you can apply split function and comma separator. Now it is creating nested. Now you can take this RDD, you can take this RDD, final, and remove this collect. So on this RDD, what you can do? So this RDD is having all data. This RDD is having all data, which is having this. But we need, we need to take this column separate because the first row is header, right? So what we can do, we can take a, index zero so index zero which is columns so what i'll do i'll take this into columns into separate python list now here all columns will be there now i can create another date another object with the data so we need data separate we need data separate but we need to filter that because when you go with this when you convert to 2DF data frame, we are converting data frame. Even you can see the, the first record is available. We need to skip this record. So these columns we can use here. Then it will create columns. To data frame, you see ID name, it is creating perfectly. But problem is, we need to ignore this record again. So what we can do before that, on this RDD, we can uh, skip line, we can create one uh, record, skip line equal to, you can take this first record, the RDD is having one first record, that record we will take, then before that we will use a filter, we'll use filter, the filter, lambda i'll read each item and not equal to this skill skip line so this will be having a first record then i will apply the skip skip record then i'll create a data frame now you see perfectly it is coming in new data frame now you can create a new data frame So this data frame will be having all data. Even data frame is created with the three columns. Even you can display in a table format, HTML table format, you see this. Okay, so this way which we can achieve to skip n number of records first 
a number of records and you can take a metadata perfectly, then you can data perfectly. So these kind of scenarios majorly you can expect when the source is reporting tool, when source is uh, Excel sheet, most of the business users, they will prepare uh, reports in Excel sheet in a tabular format, but the starting will have some uh, empty line, empty headers in a file. But when they extract as a CSV file in that report, you can get these kind of issues. So you can skip those just generating sequence number using Jiffy index in RDD. Then you can skip how many numbers you want to skip. Then you can convert into like you can split. Then you can string will be converted into columns. Then you can take separate headers. Then you can skip headers. Skip headers and data will be perfectly you will get this. So these kind of scenarios majorly when your source systems are reporting tool, source systems are end users, end users, they will extract as a CSV file, but that report will be having some top headers. Those kind of scenarios you can expect. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, this will be continuous uh, videos. I will uh, uh, update on real-time scenarios one by one. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and if you're looking for this notebook, uh, this notebook will be available in my GitHub. The same link I will uh, update in my, uh, this same video description, you can find in video description. Uh, that will be in uh, my GitHub repository. In this repository, you can find all scenarios notebooks in this Azure real-time scenario uh, folder. And real-time issues, even I will do a few videos on real-time issues, which I have prepared list of frequent issues. That you can find in this folder which you can download this notebooks and it will help you and you can go through those notebooks if you have any questions if you have any queries you can comment in our same video and if you're not able to access this notebooks just you can uh, comment in my video then i will verify and confirm that and if you want to download these notebooks just you can use this download option but you should have an account in github account then only you can download these videos okay thank you very much all the best have a good day. See you.